All right, so this is the Coleman Camp Oven. Um, we got this a little while ago with Hurricane Helene having passed through and we were living on the uh, camp stoves for a bit. You know, indoor stove and oven were electric, so that was a, a problem. We're in Georgia and as you know, most of Georgia's electricity grid was wiped out and having to be rebuilt. <clears throat> so anyways, um, just wanted to show you all the, the camp oven because I honestly did not find a lot of good reviews on it or at least video reviews to see it. Now, as you see, it's, it's kind of a thin sheet metal, so it doesn't all line up 100% perfect. But it does, it seems to be doing the job really, really well. It does work best if you can center the burner underneath it. There's a, a relief almost cut out in the bottom that collects all the heat and um, distributes it, I guess is the word I'm looking for, throughout the inside of the oven. It's got a really clearly marked temperature gauge right here at the... And the handle here is cool touch. So as you see, that's 350 degrees and I can grab the handle, no problem. I'm gonna open this quickly. But as you can see, I'm actually cooking dinner on it tonight, giving it a little test run. We made brownies in this earlier, earlier with the kids and that worked out wonderfully on a nine by nine pan. And that's the another nine by nine pan inside and I'm doing stuffed peppers inside of there. So I've tried this on my uh, white gas 424E. So the smaller of the, uh, the old school white gas, you know, pump it up you know, kind of stoves. Now, the only thing to be aware of with that in order to line up the burner properly, you have to disengage the lid to get it out of the way. Now, this obviously is not that same stove. I found that the temperature control is a bit easier on propane. So, excuse the mess over here because I've been working on a lot of stuff. But there's my propane distribution tree and running it straight in. And this dial is very, very sensitive on this little Coleman two burner. Uh, propane stove so it's real easy to control that temperature and get it adjusted right uh, on the white gas ones it's a little bit harder because you got to get the pressure right if you're using the second burner at the same time you know that adjusts you know that varies the pressure on the main burner when you turn it on so um overall I'd, I'd recommend using this more so on a propane if you have it but it will work on the white gas like i said You've got to disengage that lid though to center it up if you've got the 424 model. I don't have a 413. I do want to get one, or I think it's the 474 that's the the old three burner style. I think one of those, either the 413 or the, the larger one, whatever the, the three burner number is that they designated, I think that would work better with this oven. But this little two burner, propane works perfectly and this lid opens up all the way automatically you don't have to disengage anything you just open it up and lay it flat so this will come in propane stove yeah this will and this will be what i use when i use this oven so this will be a permanent part of my my kit um, just wanted to share this with y'all so that y'all could see because, uh, like I said, I didn't see many video reviews before now. All right. Bye.